Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to be drawing an oil pastel, a painting by Georgia O'Keeffe. The painting is titled Red Poppy. She painted it in 1927. So today, let's learn from Georgia O'Keeffe. The supplies that you need are some paper, and I chose red construction paper, and you're going to need some oil pastels. I'm using these Craypass Expressionist oil pastels made by Sakura. You need a pencil to draw it with. I'm gonna be drawing really, really dark just for this demonstration with this Higma brush made by Sakura and a paper towel. Make sure you don't draw it as dark as I am and draw it with your pencil very, very lightly. I will go over drawing it in pencil first and then filling it in with oil pastels. And this tutorial will really, really help you learn how to use your oil pastels going from dark to light. When we look at the red poppy, it's not as wide as a standard piece of paper. So we're just gonna draw two stripes on the side. And then we're gonna draw the poppy inside of here. Draw this with your pencil, not with a marker. I'm drawing it with a marker so you can see it. I draw it really light. There's only five petals, so I'm going to go over drawing them with you. If yours look a little bit different, that's totally fine. We're going to start over here. We're going to take a little jump over from the side of our paper. So we're not starting in the corner. We're starting a little bit in. And then we're going to come over like a rainbow and make kind of a little shelf and then drop it down just a little bit over here. And then we're just going to make a little loop around and just kind of follow along this, getting a little wavy. And then you can make a little bit of a drip some bigger ones, some smaller ones, and then as it starts to turn sideways, the drips are gonna go this way. And then we're gonna start a little bit over from the end underneath. We're gonna do a little bump, curve down, and then we're gonna make a little curve underneath it. And then underneath, we're going to draw the stem. It has two lines that curves out, it's pretty thick. And then she has these two little parts of the stem, these two little bumps. And then in here, we're gonna draw another line next to this one, and then we're gonna make a little indent right here. On this petal, you're gonna start your line kind of similar to where this one would come through, and we're just gonna draw a line straight over with a little bit of a bump at the end. And then starting a little bit up from it, we're just gonna draw a curve that goes down, and a bump that comes up, and then goes over, almost like a wave. And then we're gonna wait on the top of this petal. Right now, we're gonna draw a big petal that's over here. Start with the very outer edge of it, and it starts quite a bit in on this one over here, above this little bump underneath. And what we're gonna do is create that nice curve, that teacup shape, and we're gonna make a curve that comes in and goes over. And then we're gonna start, and we're gonna bring it in this way, and we're gonna make some waves in it. And then actually, before we bring it to the bottom, let's make sure we're gonna end in the right spot. We're just gonna start close to the center, and we're just gonna curve it up, curve it over, and curve it over. This is the front of the petal. We'll draw the back of the petal in a second. So this one starts in the middle of these two, and we're just gonna bend it out, and it goes straight out to the side, almost as high as this one. And then we bring it in, and then it's gonna end about right here. We're gonna curve, or line up to it. So you're just making some nice curves on the edge of these petals. Now let's draw the rest of this petal because it's gonna end right here. Make a nice arch up to the top, make some waves, come down in, then we're gonna bump up a little bit, and then come back into this petal right here. And remember, it's okay if yours looks a little bit different than mine. Now let's draw the rest of this petal. So this is the front of it. Let's draw the back side that's curving around this way. Instead of coming back this way, we're gonna go straight up. And these ones are a little bit more tattered. And this one right here drops down, comes over like that. And since we've got this part in, let's go ahead and draw the top part of this petal right here. So we're just gonna start right here and we're gonna come over and just make a nice little peak. We have four petals, let's finish it with our fifth. So this one starts on the bottom part of this petal right here. And we're just gonna dip down and make a curve, come in and then over. If you line up with where this point is right here, come over to the side, just a little bit below it is where this petal comes back onto the picture plane, or where we're gonna start drawing it again, and then you're just gonna make some curves and then just tuck it right behind this one. The middle part, it's pretty simple. The first thing we're gonna do is just draw this circle in here. Draw a little circle in here, and then you're gonna draw almost like a daisy. Add these little curves on the top that are gonna get wider on the side and then even longer on the bottom. So draw this really lightly on your paper with your pencil, and then we'll start filling it in with oil pastels. So now you have your flower drawn on. So we're going to be drawing in the background first with our white and our blue. Since we're going dark to light, let's take your blue. This is a cobalt blue, so use your oil pastel, your blue color, and just put it along the edges. So very lightly, I'm not pushing very hard. Grab your white oil pastel. 
This is where your paper towel comes in handy. Just clean off any of the colors you don't want in the background. Don't want my background to be pink. And let's start filling in the background. So I'm gonna start next to my flower. So I'm just gonna go around first all of the edges of the petals. Start to fill in your background with your white and it will start to blend into the blue. And I'm pressing pretty hard. And remember we're moving light into dark. So I'm starting next to the petal and I'm moving out into the blue. Now that we have the background filled in, let's start with our poppy. Now this part is a little bit tricky because my paper is red, right? So it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to see where I'm coloring. We wanna have those dark colors on there first so we can blend them. So the red is going to be the shadow on my rose and then we're going to be using orange and white to do the rest. And we might get a little bit darker once we have the black on there. So take your red and I want you just to draw a rainbow of red or a curve of red. So I'm just gonna fill this all in with red. And then what I want you to do is lightly draw around the edges. And I'm also gonna take it and I'm gonna go all the way around this petal. I'm pressing pretty hard. All right, now let's start with this petal. Draw a line right here. And then we just wanna lightly fill in the front part of this. Add it a little bit darker around this side and on the bottom. And then on the very top of this, you can draw pretty hard. So just on the, just kind of like you're outlining it. And then on the back side, just a little bit right there. And on the inside of this, we're gonna fill it in with our red, pressing hard at the top, and then lightly cover the bottom of it. And then this petal right here, we're gonna make a line coming out into the middle. Fill in this corner really, really hard with our red. And then lightly, lightly fan it out. The inside of this petal, there's a little stripe of red up at the top of here, a little dash, and then a little line right there. Then we're gonna draw really lightly and we're just gonna barely, barely add a little bit of red right in here. I'm gonna do just a line. It's just, just a few lines on the top. One, two, three. and I'm just gonna add a little bit more red in here, just in this corner. This petal right here, you're gonna be drawing pretty hard around it. Now we're just gonna color in this side of the bottom and then lightly, lightly add a little bit on this side. Okay, this is our last petal to use our red on. It's really red inside of here. So we're bringing it along the edge of this petal, but we're drawing it on this. Now we're just gonna bring some lines out, maybe some bigger stripes out from it and curve them this way too, like a little triangle this way. And then underneath this petal, let's add a shadow on this back petal. And then along this outer edge, and then we're just gonna add some stripes up in here. And then I'm just gonna use my red to lightly, lightly cover that in. After you finish the red, grab your orange and we're gonna start away from the red and move into it. So I'm gonna start at the top. I'm pressing really hard and it's gonna start blending into my red. So again, I'm starting away from the red first, pressing pretty hard to fill in this space and then I'm just blending it. We don't need to cover the dark red shadows, but we're coming into them just to create that gradual effect. All right, now let's grab our red and just put a few of these wrinkles in. I'm going to grab the pale orange and let's add some highlights. And you could add these highlights in different areas. There's kind of a highlight actually down in here. The highlights are simple since we have all of these darker colors, it's easy to add the lighter ones on top. These little pieces of oil pastel actually just add a nice texture, so I just leave them alone. Take your green and just color in the stem. Now we're going to use our white pastel to draw a white highlight. Let's work on this middle part of our poppy. We don't wanna draw over this. Use the edge of your oil pastel to outline that middle flower, the center of the poppy. And then we're gonna color around it. Around the flower, just fill it in with your black oil pastel. Now what we're gonna do is create this texture so you're just gonna be creating little lines that are going out, almost like fur or grass. Then we've got this really nice black line over here and then there's one on this side too. 
Now let's work on the middle of this. Just grab a brown or a gray. I'm actually using this Van Dyke brown. And we're gonna draw in the center of this poppy. Grab your black and bring it just back over it. While you have your black, add a little bit of a shadow to your stem. You can use your paper towel or your hand to kind of just blend it a little bit. And you can use your black to create a little bit more depth in other parts of the flower, like maybe right in here and there's a little bit of a shadow. Anywhere you feel like you can't separate the two petals, you could bring the black in, like I'm gonna bring the black just along the inside of this. And then I'm gonna use the red over the top of it. I don't wanna outline all of my petals, but I might just give them a little bit more definition. And that's the last step. So you can cut this out. You could, you know, draw lines on the edges of it. I'm just gonna cut the edges off. And there you have it, your own Georgia O'Keeffe poppy. If you're ever trying to learn a new medium, what I love to do is to try to copy these artists that have learned so much, why not learn from them? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned how to use oil pastels a little bit more effectively and enjoyed creating this beautiful flower. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.